Hello everyone. Welcome to CSC. I am Jagdish from Cisco's communication and collaboration team. In this video, we will look at the concept of hair pinning on a Cisco adaptive security appliance. What is hair pinning? Hair pinning, also called as U-turn, is a technique in which the traffic enters an interface and exits the same interface. It is useful in scenarios where a specific packet flow has to be redirected through the same interface. In the diagram shown, the data packets enter from outside interface and exit from the same interface. This feature could be enabled using the following command. Same security traffic permit intra interface. Now let's look at some details of this feature pertaining to the software versions. This feature is initially introduced from ASI version 701 to enable spoke-to-spoke -spoke VPN communication. An enhancement is added to this feature from ASI version 721 so that the U-turn works in case of normal clear traffic also. It means that this feature is now applicable to all the traffic on the Cisco ASI not just encrypted traffic. Combining the enhancement with the original feature, below objectives could be achieved using this feature. The first objective is tunnel traffic to pass through an interface and to be redirected via the same interface as tunneled traffic. The second objective is tunneled traffic to pass through an interface and to be redirected via the same interface as untunneled or clear traffic. In order to implement this feature, we need to make sure that proper translation rules and the corresponding routing statements are configured properly. Let's now look at different scenarios where this feature comes handy. Remote VPN users have to use internet using ASA. In this scenario, we have an ASA acting as a VPN gateway and the VPN users are able to access the internal resources through the VPN. Now, for the users to be able to access the internet using ASA, you could bend the traffic at the outside interface and route this to internet. To ensure this, the traffic sourcing from the VPN pool should have a dynamic translation. This could be achieved by a combination of NAT and global statements. But here, for both NAT and global statements, the associated interface remains the same, that is, the outside interface. Here shown is a synopsis on how U-turn differs with split tunnel. The concept of hair pinning is in contrary to the split tunnel concept. In split tunnel, the tunneled traffic and the internet traffic will be split at the VPN client end. Only the tunneled traffic reaches till the VPN gateway but not the internet traffic. Internet traffic will get routed from the ISP router of the VPN client to its destination. In our scenario, no split tunnel concept is used and all the traffic that generates from the VPN client will get tunneled and reaches to the VPN gateway device. Now let's look at another scenario. Inside user accessing an internal server with its public IP address. In this scenario, 172.16.100.0 is the internal network and 209 165.200.0 is the outside network of ASA. A web server is in the internal network at 172.16.110. This could be accessed by the outside users using a translated IP address of 209.165.210. Now, inside users want to access this web server using the translated address where the traffic flow should be sourcing from the inside interface and gets routed to inside interface. In order to enable this, we need to follow these steps. 
enable the same security traffic permit intra interface command perform a static mapping of the server from inside to inside perform a dynamic translation for the connection note that in the diagram data traffic in only one direction is shown but the communication from the server to the client also happens in the same direction here we could discuss a point on why the dynamic translation from inside to inside is used as we already have the static command in place the answer is to ensure the symmetric traffic flow because when the dynamic translation is not in place the order of operations may look like the following an inside user 172.16.100.5 wants to communicate to 209.165.200.10 and this packet reaches to the inside interface of ACA the ACA translates the address to 172.16.100.10 and redirects it to the internal web server now the connection is established and server communicates directly to the client with its original ip address 172.16.100.10 client will not accept this connection because it is expecting a response from 209.165.200.10 to conclude this connection has bypassed the security appliance when used without the dynamic translation when we have the dynamic translation in place the inside user 172.16.100.5 will be translated to the inside interface ip of the asa and all the communication between the server and client pass through the security appliance let's look at another scenario inside user accessing the inside rdp server using its private address in this scenario no public server is involved an inside user 172.16.100.5 wanted to connect to an rdp server 172.16.100.20 which resides on the same internal network in order to do this you need to perform the below steps same security traffic permit intra interface has to be enabled NAT has to be specified for the inside network. A global statement has to be made to map this NATed network to the inside interface. A static mapping has to be made from inside to inside to map the 172.16.100.20 to itself. The primary point is that all the traffic from internal hosts will be routed to the inside interface of the asa and we need proper translation rules in order to get this communication work this is not required in network setups where the default gateway of all the inside users will be an internal router but not the inside interface of the asa in that case the internal communication between the client and the server will not reach the asa but will be solely taken care by the proper routing statements configured on the internal router let's look at another scenario a user from a vpn tunnel trying to access resources belonging to another vpn tunnel this is what the feature has been introduced initially to enable the spoke to spoke vpn communications by enabling this feature the cisco asa which is working as a vpn gateway could act as a main hub to all the remote access vpn connections and the lan to lan vpn connections so that the spokes intercommunicate among themselves now to allow the vpn users access the resources behind the bqasa we need to redirect the remote access vpn traffic from the hqasa into the lan to lan tunnel with the bqasa to get this done we need to perform the following enable the feature by adding the command same security traffic permit intra interface 
create new entries in the crypto access lists on the both HQASA and BQASA, permitting access for the VPN pool network to internal network of BQASA. An important note here is the crypto access lists need to be exact mirror images on both ACS. Also create similar entries in the bypass NAT access lists as well. We could enable this feature using the ASTM also. Here shown is a screenshot of the ASTM image on how to enable this feature. Go to Configuration, Device Setup, Interfaces and then choose the Enable Traffic between two or more hosts connected to the same interface option. Click the checkbox and then click the Apply button to enable this feature. The configurations discussed in this video will work fine from ASA version 7.2 to ASA version 8.2. We have seen that hair pinning is a cool technique which has several applications in real time. Hope the information was useful and I would like to thank you for viewing.